Hi, what I want to cover here today is some videos on the number one question that I'm getting asked by both consumers and by real estate agents. And that is, when will Denver home prices drop? Everyone's hoping that prices are going to drop soon to make homes more affordable. So we, I have records, charts, data, uh, going back to 1971. And I think you know what you're going to hear from me is going to really surprise you when it comes to Denver home prices and whether or not they may drop anytime soon. One of the top arguments I hear from people all the time of why they think home prices in Denver is going to drop is just that they've gone up too far too fast. But let's take a look at one of America's favorite companies, favorite stocks, Amazon. Back beginning of 2012, the share price of Amazon was $175 a share. Here near end of October, it was over $3,300 a share, a 1900% increase. So if your logic, if your reason that home prices have to drop is they've gone up too far too fast, I have to ask you, when is Amazon stock price going to drop? So next I want to compare stocks and real estate. So often the media pundits, economists, financial advisors, and others all try to directly compare the stock market to real estate. But I want you to know there are five big differences between stocks and real estate. First one is stocks, mutual funds, ETFs, all of those can be sold instantly in seconds online. For real estate, you know, to buy and sell real estate, it's a months long decision. Yes, the house or property may sell very quickly, but let me tell you for every homeowner, it's usually a months long decision before they ever decide to sell their home. And second, just know this, stock prices, as you probably know, are incredibly volatile. They can go up or down, you know, by double digits, by $20, $30 a share in seconds, you know, with some of the big high flying stocks. Whereas real estate prices, during more normal times may only change a few times a year. This year they're changing maybe every month at least, but still nothing like stocks that change instantly on the fly. So if you like these type of stats, please you know, share my video and subscribe to my channel. Third thing to realize is stocks are often bought on impulse, whether it be to buy them or to sell them. You know, someone will just go and do it. But with real estate, there's no such thing as impulses to buy and sell real estate anymore. You know, it's a long-term measured decision. Do we really need, do we really want to move? And often takes individuals, families, you know, months to decide that question. It's not easy. It's not short. So it takes a long time. Number four is, yeah, stock prices can change on a whim's notice just instantaneously. But one of the things you gotta understand with real estate, real estate prices are very, very sticky. And what that means is if say, someone was gonna sell their home and they might take a loss on it, they probably will just stay because they don't wanna suffer the loss. So they stay in their home, which then drives supply down lower and think about it this way as an employee. Your company hires you at say $30 an hour. Are you willing to take you know, a pay cut of 10% in six months when the supply crisis is over? I'm sure you won't. It's the same way with housing. Pricing is very sticky. And lastly, this is one of my biggest arguments. No one needs to own stock, but everyone needs a roof over their head. And that is just a, such a huge difference between stocks and real estate. See you next, then. stay tuned in my next video. I'm gonna tell you the two times Denver home prices did drop and what caused it. So please share this video, like my page or subscribe to my page and stay tuned for my next video.